Um, okay. <laughs> So much has been made about the recent changes at HQ. We've got the Coons hiring surveys of questionable terms and focus. Rumors are abound that an affiliate fee increase is imminent, perhaps tomorrow. Uh, what would CrossFit need to do or need to offer in order to justify a 30 to 50% increase, as has been muted, in fees, or is justification needed? So, Lauren, go. Um, firstly, I don't think it is justifiable as an affiliate owner across the board. That could equate to potentially up to two months of someone's profit increasing by 50% up to 4,500. We're not all massive affiliate owners, but if I had to argue for it, I would like to see maybe a shared equity in CrossFit, general insurance, music licensing, something that could take kind of money away from something else that I'm spending on. Like that could be all included in like an affiliate package. Um, or they need to prove that they have grown the brand name to a point where I'm making that money back off the investment I'm making in putting that logo on the front of my gym. Um, and I think off the back of what, 2019, 2020, that's probably a little bit questionable at the moment if they've really built the brand back up to what we were seeing at like the peak point of the 2018 games. Um, in general, I think it starts as um, it's already a rich man's game and it's kind of cutting off a real section of society if you're raising the affiliate. Right. I also forgot to say that if you go over 60 seconds on mute, you're actually pretty close to stopping bang on time there. Like, <laughs> that was actually pretty impressive. Um, all right. So I'm giving you two points well, for that. I, there was two, I, I felt like there was two compelling points there. Um, we'll come back to the, the positives from everyone um, towards the end. Right. Craig. 60 seconds means 60 seconds, Craig. OK, just right. so we're clear. All right. Go. So I'm OG. Um, I feel like a rate increase. CrossFit doesn't need to do anything to increase rates. They haven't increased rates in, in quite a while. And increasing rates, uh, the concern now among CrossFit affiliate owners, uh, uh, older, more established CrossFit affiliate owners, is that the experience that new people have going into a CrossFit is less than desirable, and that impacts all of us. One way for CrossFit to quickly separate the wheat from the chaff is to raise rates um, and thereby those affiliates that are less than desirable or not doing that great a job are probably going to step away from affiliation until they can either build themselves back up or step out of the business altogether. Um, they've been doing a lot for affiliates already. The number of tools that are available for me are, are 10x higher than they used to be. Um, into including content, including access to communications. Um, we now have regional reps. We've never had regional reps before, so the ability to communicate is much better than it has ever been. They've done quite a bit. They haven't raised rates, especially for... All right, Craig, you're right. Time's up. <laughs> I actually... Doing pretty good. I, you were doing... I don't know how you did it, but you actually rigged the clock as well. You got an extra 10 <laughs> seconds because I forgot to start the clock properly. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, Craig, I'm giving you three for that. So there was, sorry uh, for the American viewers. I'm giving you three uh, for that. Um, there's a couple of decent points in there. Um, like I said, we'll come back at the end. I want to I want to give everyone a chance to rebut. I don't want to tell people what I liked and then sway them from what they're going to rebuke or not. All right, Hiller, 60 seconds. Why or what do CrossFit need to do in order to justify their increases? First, I want to say they should have already done that because I say that everything mm. I look at CrossFit doing is something I would have liked to have done as an affiliate owner. I would never increase the rates of my affiliate unless I had already proven that there was something worth paying for at that point. I will go further to say, and I think that no one's gonna disagree with this, that media is something that all the affiliates would like. And it's not just media because they are putting out more media. Their YouTube channel has been pretty active as of late, but I think that they need a laser pointer. The Forging Lee Fitness is something that I always liked because it was almost as if they were talking to these people. And when you're pointing a laser pointer at something, other people are going to go, hey, what are you pointing that thing at? And at which rate, it'll draw more people to it. So sure, some people are going to look at it like it's freaking ridiculous, but you do know who you're talking to at that point. So I think that they should have already proven it. And I also think that they need to be very uh, adamant about what it is that they're t talking about in the media that they end up producing. Wow, two, two seconds one. to spare. That's pretty impressive. Um, all right, I'm giving you three for that as well, Hitter. Um, so we'll come back down the line. My clock isn't going to be as fancy this time. Um, so you've got 20 seconds. So you can either uh, 
critique what someone else has said or you can build on top of what someone else has said and uh, you know improve upon it so lauren you're up so craig you mentioned that it would separate the wheat from the chaff and we would lose certain types of affiliates say we lost 10 percent of what the 48,000 affiliate well, that might be a bit wild um how much would that ref like reflect in open registration and the money that crossfit's building up at grassroots base so i think there is a balance to be had about making it still affordable but potentially bringing in more income from crossfit side nicely done that was well timed as well that's a great good point um all right craig hang on a sec um, <laughs> you can clock <laughs> go okay um i want to know um who this guy is uh on my right there and what happened to him that doesn't seem to be andrew hiller because that his response uh, surprised me um and i support his response um and it was along along the same lines as mine so um yeah two thumbs up for andrew which part which one which which response um regarding they should have done it a long time ago this clock thing is fucking stupid. I should have just done what Chase said. <laughs> just leave a run in. You can leave. <laughs> I, do you think I'd be able to count back from 23 minutes in 20 second intervals? No. I think, I think you're doing just fine. Just um, all right, Hiller, last rebuttal. I like that Lauren brought up music because I don't think that's something that's often brought up in an affiliate, no. but someone could point that out and say, hey, you're not allowed to just play Spotify. You got to have something that's sharing. What I didn't like was her saying that there should be some sort of a share from the affiliates with CrossFit. I think that it would cost way more money than three to $5,000. Yeah. 